Okay, YouTube, so I've got kind of a question that I think needs more attention. What's with the lack of R&B in releases lately? There really hasn't been that many. I've thought about it. We've had uh, The Weeknd, but that's really about the only one that I can think of of the most recent times. I mean, in 2015, we had The Weeknd, Kind of Fetty Wap. Ty Dolla Sign and a couple others, but I just don't really remember where all the R&B is going. It's been really quiet. I was thinking, you know, Fetty Wap was supposed to have the year in 2016 that Biggie had in 1995, which Big, you know, people said that he was the man of 95 because of Junior Mafia and the various R&B songs that he popped up on in 95, in addition to Ready to Die charting, but Fetty Wap didn't really do that. I mean, he was on a Fifth Harmony song, and I think that that was about it, as far as it makes me wonder, which is going to kind of, I'm going to lead into this in another vlog, but I don't know where all these singer-slash-musicians are going. I mean, there was no Mariah Carey, there was no Trey songs, there was no Akon, there was no, I mean, I guess John Legend was there, but, I mean, really, he's kind of just like a one-hit-per-album type person, so I'm just trying to figure out what's with the lack of R&B recently. Usher dropped an album, but I don't really remember hearing him on the air that much and you know from there it's just been mainly the weekend a little bit of drake thrown in rihanna's still charting but i don't know i still have not heard a beyonce song on the radio that much either i don't know with her it's just more of events it's just strange that you know, between R&B now and R&B like seven, eight years ago, it's like, well, why aren't we hit getting the hits the size of some of these old ones? I mean, I've tried to review R&B as much as I could, but it's, I mean, really, for the most part, it's kind of dull just because most of the time they only get one charting song. It's like you'll get the club song, the second single will always be a ballad, or a romantic song, it won't catch on, and then the promotion of the album will stop. And this just happens to be extremely boring, because you have to find the right template to do it. But with me noticing that Fetty Wap is kind of not charting as high as he was in 2015, it just makes me wonder, where is all the hit R&B music? I mean, we've gotten to the point where we had Selena Gomez, Demi Lovato, and Taylor Swift all around the same time, but I don't really consider any of these three women to be R&B. And, I mean, we've got Seven Streeter, and we've got Kalani, who are both coming out, but beyond those two, it's just relatively tame. And I don't, it's difficult trying to figure out where all the hot R&B singers are. So we could definitely bring that back. I mean, just between rap and everything else, it's just been a severe lack of sing-songy mentality, mainly because rappers do it nowadays. But, you know, without getting the proper hits, it just doesn't work. I mean, there's just so many... It just feels as if this should be explored more.